I remember sitting in my car, driving in the snow, trying hard not to crash to this job that I hated that was paying $8.25, almost minimum wage. I was working as a security guard at a company that had thousands and thousands of employees and I had zero skills. I had zero potential, what seemed like potential for the future. I didn't know web design, I didn't know web development, I didn't know graphic design, copywriting, sales, marketing. I literally didn't have any skills in fact my job before was a gymnastics coach and then before that I was a freaking dishwasher but that same year I got so sick and so tired of my circumstance and I got so sick of being broke my entire freaking life that I sat down and I decided to do something different I decided to read 54 books that year and when I say read 54 books I mean literally end to end cover to cover I finished these books because my circumstance was not working. And at the time I was in college, but I was not learning much. I knew the stuff I was learning was not gonna help me in the real world. And I needed to find something else. I needed to find another method, another style, another strategy of making money. And I was really blessed because through those books and through all the personal development that I went through, I was able to find and stumbled upon web design. And honestly, this checked off all of my boxes. At this time, I think it was like 2015, I think it was around that time. Maybe it was slightly earlier, slightly later. Back then, working remotely was not what it is today, okay? Back then, it was extremely rare. No one did it, but I loved traveling. I loved, I had a sense of adventure, and I loved the fact that I could not only make a lot of money doing something I actually enjoyed, but also live a cool life. And so I dove in. I got books. I started learning how to program. I started learning how to write code. I literally learned as much as I possibly could. I went to a Barnes & Noble, which is like, like a, a bookstore for anyone watching this out of the US. And I started going through the books. I literally started learning HTML, CSS, PHP, and JavaScript. And I spent so much time studying this stuff. Now, mind you, I'm not getting paid for any of this, right? This is all the stuff I'm learning in my extra time, in my free time. And then I just started building a bunch of practice websites. So I built like a ton of just templated websites. I built some websites from scratch. I would just like make up random businesses and build websites for them. And what I was doing was I was building a portfolio, but also practicing my skills. And then finally, what ended up happening was I was so emotionally invested and I spent so much time learning this. And then eventually I felt like I was good enough finally to bring on clients. And so I started telling a couple people in my local network. Now look, I didn't have business owners, friends, or some family that they had connections and all this. No, I didn't have any of that. I literally found one guy that was my coworker that did photography on the side. And I told him, hey man, I'm just gonna build you this website. If you want it, that's cool, you can keep it. I'm just gonna build it for you as practice. If you wanna keep it, you can just pay me whatever you feel towards the end of it. And this led to my very first client. I ended up getting paid $150 for this first website. That was cool. It's not life-changing money, but what it did was it switched my mindset around being an employee to being more of a freelancer and being a one-person business. Now, he ended up referring me over to someone else who then paid me for $400 for a website. And then I got another client that paid $1,500 for a website. And this person came in from a Craigslist ad that I just put up. It was free back then. And it's actually kind of a funny story of how I even closed them for that amount. I was not comfortable pitching someone $1,500. I wanted to pitch him like seven or $800, but I was reading a negotiation book at the time. And it literally said in the book, let the other person give you an offer first. And so I wanted to take that knowledge and apply apply it to my current circumstance. So I asked this guy that I was speaking to, and this was an in-person meeting. And so I asked him, how much did the other developer quote you? And he said 2000. And from there I smiled and I said, great, I can do it for 1500. And he immediately wanted to sign up. And this completely blew my mind. Now I know that amount of money is not life changing. Maybe for you it is. And back then for me, this was amazing. Cause honestly, at this point, I haven't even seen a thousand dollars in front of me. If I saw a thousand dollars in my bank, I would be ecstatic. I would be super excited. I have I've never seen that before. And what it did was it opened up my mind to being a freelancer and to being paid for the work that you can accomplish and for the work that you can deliver versus being an hourly employee. Now our websites are way more expensive, 4,000, five, 6,000 plus dollars. However, the amazing thing is that you can now shortcut that entire 
process using a bunch of AI tools, using templates, using a bunch of strategies that I'm gonna be sharing with you here in this video. None of this stuff existed when I was building it, man. I literally had to sit down and learn how to code. I mean, literally you can have the build out, the design, the content, the entire structure done in a day and put together so you can even present it to the client. So let's go ahead and dive into my laptop and I'm gonna show you how you can do this. This should go without saying, but before we dive into any AI tools or automation, the first thing the client should do is fill out an onboarding form, meaning you wanna collect as much information as you possibly can, right? How can we build a website if we don't have everything? Name, email, phone number, right? Where do you want the contact form submissions to go to? What are your main services? What do you wanna focus on within your services? What is your main area that you service? Again, I work with local business owners and more specifically, I work with construction companies and within a niche, I know very specific questions to ask them that's going to help build the website. So whatever industry you work with, make sure to find out those questions and have them ready. So let's actually dive in and I'll give you my prompt that I use when building websites. All right, so we're going to say act as a web design copywriter and use principles from David Ogilvy or Claude Hopkins to write about this company. Business name, again, I just made this up. ABC Contractors Group, service area, let's say Miami, Florida, phone, Again, put in the phone number here. My niche, they're very phone driven. Whatever it is for you, put that in here and then add some details about the company. And again, during your onboarding, you can even have a section where they can write this out or you can get this from their previous website or social media or really anything that's online about that company. So I pasted in some content here. So they do remodels, property restoration and so forth. And then at the very end, write what you want it to do. So right here, write 500 words for the about us page. So let's go ahead and hit enter and see what it does. All right, so now it is typing out the about us page, right? So I know we're going to get into like the specifics and picking website templates, but this is the baseline, right? This is where we're going to get the content and it's using everything that we can. And the more information you give to chat GTP, the better it's going to perform, right? So if you tell it, you know, we've been in business for 30 years, been in business for X, we're different because we do this, we do renewable resources. When you add that, it can really craft an amazing message for you. Also, you can take Take the names David Ogilvy or Claude Hopkins and replace it with any copywriter that you like. I like these guys. I love their books and they are legendary in the copywriting field. So I just stick with their copy. The next thing we have to cover is how you're actually going to be building the website. Look, you can use any freaking website builder that you want. There's a million of them out there. You can use Weebly, Wix, WordPress. They're all not bad. At this point, they're all pretty evolved and they're all good. But I love using the software called Go High Level because it allows you to do way more than just web design. And and we actually offer SaaS also on the back end, meaning like text automations. We help them with email marketing, some appointment booking, social media posting, and different AI tools are also built in that you can package up and sell to the client as a software product. So they're no longer just paying you, you know, this cheap $50 a month hosting or $100 a month hosting. Now we can continue getting paid $300 a month just so they can use this software as completely white labeled. As you can see, my logo here is at the top left. Look, if you want some high converting website templates, landing page templates that are already pre-built that you can just import into your account and just use what I'm using, but make it better, make it fit you specifically, you can sign up for Go High Level with the link in the description. You're going to get a free 30 day trial so you can use it, test it, see how you like it, use all the features that we're talking about here. And also you, with that, you're going to get a free course on exactly how we get clients, how we deliver for clients, how we sell SaaS services, and you're going to get everything bundled for you. So go ahead, check that out in the description. Let's keep moving. So let's go in here. And what we're going to do is you can ignore these other sample sites that I have in here. You can click on new website and you go to template library. Now, chances are whatever your industry is, they have a website for that industry that you can start with. And honestly, even if they don't, what you can do is find one that has similar colors to whatever your client wants to use on their website, right? So if their logo is blue like this one or it's purple like this one, then just find a template that matches those colors and has a whole template for you that you can start and then build on top of that. So you're not building it from the ground up. Since I told you that my niche was construction, I'm going to go ahead and put that niche in there. And as you can see, we have three website templates in here that we can use. Now already, I like two more than I like the one in the middle. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, it's not bad. It does need a contact form at the very top. But as you can see, like this stuff's already built, right? And all you have to do is come in here and plug in some data, put some photos in here, and you should be pretty much all good to go. Let's take a look at the other theme. So this is the other 
one, I'll say right out of the gate, I kind of like the first one more. So let's go into the first one. All right, we're gonna select that. You can hit continue here. You can check this off, hit get this template. All right, and now you can see it's appearing under our websites, right? Repair, general contracting, and it has some number. It was just created. Now you can click into it and actually view the different pages for this website. So now you can hit edit and then also open this website in a new tab. And I'm gonna show you how you can actually edit and add in AI content right within this website builder. So before we actually dive into like pasting content and all that stuff, what I wanna mention is your clients are paying you. When you start charging thousands of dollars for your websites, really what your clients are paying you for is for the increase in conversion rate, right? So for example, I can already tell, this is not a bad template, but specifically to my industry, what works really well is having a phone number really large at the top and also having a form on the right-hand side above the fold is also going to work really well. This is going to drive conversions. And again, the client doesn't care whether I'm custom coding this or whether I'm using Weebly or WordPress or really any other freaking software out there. What they care about is that they're getting more leads and they're getting more business. And that's exactly what I want to do. That's exactly where your expertise comes in. It's not necessarily in like knowing who's a better coder, but it's more so about knowing how to structure the website. And those are a couple tips right there that you can take and implement into your business and into your client's websites that are going that is going to help them so i'm not going to go in and show you how to like drag and drop these different sections it's very very self-explanatory there's tons of other videos you can find but what i will do is show you for example how we do the different content pieces all within let's say this dashboard so i like immediately that they have a couple different services uh at the top and again i would replace all the stock images i like using actual photos from the client so i would take this and let's say their main service is basement remodeling that's what we talked about before so i would change this to basement remodeling and then for the text watch this what we can do is select text like this right you can hit delete and then at the top here you can hit content ai and when you click that it says provide a brief content description so you can go ahead and paste that same message that we just had except now instead of saying write 500 words for the about us page so this is the exact text that we used for chat gtp put in write two to three sentences for the about us page and we're going to delete that and you can just put about what that photo is right so we're going to use this for the basement remodeling section so there it is i just changed that now we're going to go into additional options so most of the time i just do one and i typically do professional that i hit generate and so now you can see that input is up here and then below that we have transform your basement into a dream space with abc contractors group miami's leading remodeling experts get a free consultation today so that works for me and if you want to edit it you can go ahead and type in whatever you want to change if you want to make slight tweaks and slight edits you can do that here and then hit continue and boom there it is right now it's right inside the text now for some reason this wasn't showing up when i went inside here so i'm going to paste that text in here and we're going to do the same thing for the image that's right next to it let's say they love doing kitchen remodeling you're going to click content ai just like this and now you can scroll down to what you already wrote and just simply change this to kitchen remodeling or whatever service that they are going to promote let's double check that All right hit generate and it's going to give you the copy that you can paste directly in there transform your kitchen with our expert remodeling services okay and then it even put in the phone number i don't really like the call to action right there so i'm actually going to delete that and i'm going to hit continue there it is right so now it's pasted and i'm going to paste i'm going to take that and put it inside here boom so there we go all i have to do is replace their photo their photo and as you can see we're just going to keep moving along and so if they've been in business for 10 years or 11 i'm going to put that in here and then sometimes i you can even think of a if it's just a sentence you can probably just think of that yourself and then you can go ahead and add it in there and then some of the stuff again you can just change yourself so we provide high quality construction services and there it is right you have the text you take this again use content ai paste that in there and as you scroll down do that for every single service and when you get to the service page just when you go into that little section of content ai when you click that just simply change our message from two to three sentences to 500 words and then it'll automatically paste it in there or whatever that photo is about you can also ask chat gtp or you can ask this tool and say describe this or write copy around this and if you describe that photo it's going to mention what's happening in that photo in the text and so now your website can really come together so i hope you can see here how easy this is going to be right put in their photos if they have staff images so most people in my industry don't have that so i'm going to delete that section altogether this again you can just ask the client i typically ask this stuff on the onboarding because we already have this template we already have a bunch of different templates that we like to start with and so this is part of our onboarding form but as
as you can see, as you do this for one client, for two, for three, for five, and if you work within one industry, it kind of becomes a pretty simple and pretty easy to build these websites and you can absolutely do it in a day. Now, look, if you're worried about SEO and like ranking on Google and all that kind of stuff, you can go over to this tool right here. It's called Quillbot and this will actually rewrite that content so it doesn't trigger it as AI content. Now, this is, again, this is one step further. Most of our sites, we just do with this method and I do have contractors that copyright and that sort of stuff. So if someone does sign up for SEO, I do suggest potentially going in here, paraphrasing a couple stuff, but if it's just a simple web design build that you're doing for a client, this works perfectly well. And so there you have it. Build your website in a day. You no longer need to sit there learning how to code and all these fancy tools. Go through this, really become an industry expert, know how to structure things. And as you keep building and building and building, you're going to get more and more experience and this will get faster. Perhaps the first time you do it, it might take a little bit longer than today. Fine. Still a very quick process. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one.